check, check, we live. Oh, bloody yes. What is going on, my people? My name is Suat. And I am more than delighted to be standing here for the second time. Welcome to Mix and Munch, episode two. How we bloody feeling, my Monday squad? Uh,
my people, welcome to my live interactive cooking show. And if you weren't here last week, do not worry yourself. We're going to take this nice and slow, step by step, so you can follow it with ease. So I hope you can join in the fun at home, have a little boogie, and cook this delicious meal we're about to prepare with me and alongside me. How does that sound, baby? And I just want to say cheers. And if you've already eaten, or you know, for whatever reason you don't fancy cooking alongside me, that's also fine. Sit back, enjoy this beautiful exhibition that I've put together for you, and hopefully I can enlighten your ears in an orgasmic manner. Three, two, one. Big up my brother Zach Harris locked in. Uh. <laughs> Millie's actually got a point there. How the bloody hell has it been a week since I was last stood here doing this for you with this there and all of this arranged exactly how it was last episode? Either way. The similarity is that we're going to cook some absolutely tasty beets tonight. And I hope I can help lift your spirits and lighten the mood. Let's go. Guys, before we get this show cracker lacking, don't forget to leave me a little comment. Let me know what you'd like to see more of, what you'd like to see less of, what you'd like me to cook for you. Or perhaps just leave an interesting fact about yourself. Or don't comment, that's also okay. Guys, we're about to go in. I hope you're ready for some mwah, mwah.
Alrighty then, people. As any professional chef would, or any human being with a moderate to low sense of hygiene, there's a couple of precautions we need to do to ensure not only our safety in and around the kitchen full of appliances and hot stoves, etc., but also to protect the others whom are going to be eating our culinary creations. So my people, please ensure you are dressed properly. No loose clothing. We wouldn't want that Gucci t-shirt going up in flames, even if it is fake. Ensure your nails are nicely trimmed back. We wouldn't want any keratin-rich items lying about in the food. Ensure your hair's tied back or appropriately covered. Unfortunate for Bruce Willis. We should also ensure our work surfaces are not only clear, but rigorously antibacterial and disinfected. Also ensure they're clutter free, clean space, clean mind, let's go. Tag someone that I need to say hello to. Now that's going to make me hot. Shout out to Eddie Pete locked in and also my guy Cameron Bentley. How you doing, boy? And guys, because of the antibacterial Nazi that appeared on last week's chat, I thought I'd save this step until I'm live so you guys can witness me disinfecting everything including the inside of my wine glass. Let's do that. Once again, cheers, guys. Thank you. 
think we can agree that's a sufficient amount. <clears throat> My decks are not going to work in a minute. <laughs> I just want to give one more quick shout out to the mischievous little Olivia at five years old. I think it's time we go to bed now, don't you? Lots of love, mummy. And the final step before we get our hands into some food is to thoroughly wash our hands. <laughs> now, I know some of this is new to you guys. <clears throat> and the real reason I'm doing this is only because there's a pandemic caused by a, a virus called SARS-CoV-2. Some of you may know this formally as coronavirus. Now, like I just said, this is the only reason I'm washing my hands, just to ensure I do not spread the virus. Ordinarily, in a kitchen, I would not wash my hands. And I know that this is new to you, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Why don't you guys just come on over to the sink? We can agree that was sufficient, can't we? Guys, let me know how you're feeling. I've got some wondrous food coming for you, and I hope that you have the ingredients or alternatives to do it alongside me. We can all get cooking, can't we, guys? Come on now. Guys, whether this is your first Suat stream or your 89th, I would just like to clarify that this audio is monitor safe. So make sure you slam it loudly and get close to
with both my hands smelling fresh like a newly mown meadow, we can begin our preparation phase of this cook. And first off, we're going to take a look at our ingredients. Hope everyone's doing well. Shout out to Domingo in Little Oakley. Big up yourself, boy. So tonight, we're going to be making a hearty and rich roasted aubergine and tomato curry. Not only is this meal packed with essential vitamins and minerals, it's also full of flavour and it's easy to get it right every time. What you'll find is that your family will engulf the whole thing before they know it's vegan. Let's take a look at what you'll need. Two medium aubergines. Two medium onions. Two carrots. Two garlic cloves. Is this Noah's Ark? Spice-wise, we're looking at some ground turmeric, some garam masala, and some ground coriander. A tin of chopped tomatoes, but you know what, guys? I'm going to let you in on the secret here. You can use fresh. I'm just doing it for quickness. One can of coconut milk. And I'm going to be serving this with some nice rice. Can't go wrong there, can ya? And then you're going to need your standard seasonings, your olive oils, your salt, your black pepper. And this is optional, but just a few bumps of sugar. If you're watching thinking, oh crap, I don't have any of those ingredients. Why didn't I go to the shops earlier this morning? Guys, that's fine. You can compromise. You can use alternatives. For example, if you don't have aubergine, you could use an ox's tongue. Guys, like I said, it's really not the end of the world. So please, it's really about the bigger picture, which is having fun and lightening the mood. However, if you don't anti-back and disinfect properly, it could be the end of the world for you. Ladies, gentlemen, or if you prefer not to say, I'm going to give you a minute to wash your hands appropriately, disinfect your surfaces, make them clear and clean, grab yourself a nice glass of red, and of course, the ingredients or the compromises 
I'll mix this one track and then we're gonna get on with the preparation. Guys, stay locked, stay safe, stay locked down. Stay with Suat, it's the only way really. Anyone's looking for any track IDs, leave a comment. I'll try and give you the answer immediately. However, failing that, you can find this whole set uploaded in full H definition WAV file quality on my SoundCloud immediately after this. Should we get to it? <laughs> For those of you that have just joined us, we are going to be making a gorgeous, a hearty, a rich roasted aubergine and tomato curry. It's completely vegan. <laughs> you wouldn't know. So the first step, as it always seems to be, get that oven preheated on a fan setting, 180 degrees. However, if you're a more of a, you know, conventional kind of girl, 200. My first step, we're gonna take these two aubergines, these two medium-sized eggplants, <laughs> and we're gonna chop them. Oh, interesting fact, do you know why they're called eggplants? <clears throat> well, I'll tell you. It's because when they grow in the field, and there's hundreds of them, there's a little sprouting white mound, and people confuse them for buried eggs in the ground, so they called them eggplants. But as we're in the UK, I'm gonna refer to them from aubergines from now on. Guys, the sharper the knife, the safer you are. That's a saying I learned. And we're gonna slice these into moderate thickness pieces. Round. Thank you. 
Next guys, I'd like you to grab yourselves a baking tray. There happens to be one under here. Oh my lord. Found one. Guys, you're gonna put a liberal amount of oil in your baking tray like so. You're then gonna toss your aubergine in that and season it appropriately with some salt, not pepper, I don't like that, it burns. Let's not risk that. Because I didn't allow that oven to preheat, we're gonna keep it in there for 25 minutes. But ordinarily, 180, going in hot, let's keep it in there for 20. Shout out my great cousin, Harry James King. How you doing, sir? Guys, the next step is to prep our onions and prep our garlic. Stupidly, I didn't do that before this started, so I got to do it on the film. What a shame. having trouble with this onion. (laughs) 
finally slice that, don't dice that. Now, if you, like me, are inexperienced and drop your food on the floor, make sure you wash it sufficiently. So I like it extra garlicky, so I'm going with three cloves. Carrots peeled and prepped. Now, what I like about carrots is they're a particularly well known good source of beta carotene, which has been known to promote increased eye health. They're also high in vitamin K, which I'm fond of, and potassium. Recent studies have shown close link to weight loss. That doesn't mean you can eat cake all day and then just have a carrot and you'll get slimmer, fatty. Guys, top and tail these carrots and then nicely slice them. to mix, it's a DJ set.
Cheers, guys. It's a Monday. Okay guys, so we're going to want to get our stove or hob on, whether you're an induction or a conventional kind of gal, that really doesn't bother me. Medium to high heat, and let's get some olive oil in there, raise the temperature. Come on, now I know you can. Shout out Ezra K. Savalia. Thank you for that compliment, sir. Make sure you stay tuned. And I just want to give a little chin chin to Susan Kinane watching at home. Guys, make sure you let me know where you're viewing from. Let me know where in the world you're watching. And my guy Joey Corey as well. And the very rigid laws of physics state, if you keep the lid on the pan, it'll heat up quicker. So guys, once that oil's come to a nice heat, we're gonna add the onions. Let them cook for five or six minutes, and that'll give me time to put another stinking track on. Wow, Nikki Marie's locked in from Oklahoma, watching in the office. How are you doing, Nikki's company? Add the onions. Too hot. <laughs> Let those onions soften. Grab yourself another nice glass of red. Then add those bloody carrots.
Let's get those carrots in. I friggin' love Mondays. So guys, now our onions are softened, we've added the carrots, it's time to add the garlic, one teaspoon of ground turmeric, one teaspoon of ground coriander, and one teaspoon of garam masala. And obviously, it has to be Schwartz. Oh, and Bart's. <laughs> no product placements here. Fatma Sabri, how are you doing, grandmother?
Oh yes, oh yes! So guys, I've added some garlic, and garlic is an ingredient I like to use basically in every dinner, in every breakfast, and in every lunch. Not only does it have extremely effective antibacterial properties, it's also been closely linked to reduced blood pressure. It's also rich in essential minerals and vitamins, of which I won't bore you with. But guys, if you don't like garlic, and you don't know about garlic, Try a bit of garlic <laughs> one time. You know, come back. Give me more space. I run it down to the Okie dokie. I'm choosing to accompany this dish with rice. That might be too a bit that might be a bit too basic for some of you. You can accompany it with a chapati, some nice freshly baked loaves, a nice pita bread perhaps, whatever takes your fancy. However, if you're following my meal, it's time to boil the kettle. Or if you've got a boiling hot tap, let's get some rice on the go. And then we'll rinse the rice. Come on now. And that's coming off the heat now, guys. Obviously, it's dependent on your setup. just joined me welcome to the party this is mix and munch episode two how we feeling Gather yourself half a cup of rice, well three quarters, but who's choosing? We're going to go and rinse that over at the sink, I'll show you how to do that too.
So what we did there, we rinsed the excess starch off the rice. That's often the main culprit for it becoming lumpy and clumpy and too thick and just not very nice at all. Add a bit of salt and your boiling water, bring that to the boil, then we're going to simmer. My aubergine need a little bit longer. Obviously it's going to be dependent on things like how thickly you cut your aubergine, how big your aubergine was in the first place, and how hot your oven is. Bear with me. For those of you asking about Mama Suat, Yes, she's joining me in the kitchen. And Grandma Suat is watching over us, don't you worry. Once your aubergine is finished in the oven, you're going to want to combine it with this absolutely gorgeous smelling concoction of onions, carrots, we've got garlic, garam masala, ground coriander. Guys, might I add, this is a rich and very hearty meal. Can you wait? Make sure you aggressively slap your chopped tomatoes in the pan. Get that coconut milk in there as well. And if you, like me, turned out to be really thirsty today and your glass happens to be empty, fill it up as well. Come on now. guys anytime you're touching your mouth or your face or your nose or your ears 
I know this is brand new news to you guys, but please make sure you wash your hands thoroughly with soap, like I just did. Run out of time there, at least the food's not burnt. Aubergines. It's aubergine time! Guys, Get your freshly roasted aubergines, add them to the mix. We're gonna simmer that for 20 minutes. <laughs> Get to turn the oven off. There's nothing like wasting electricity. Shout out Joe Aquila. Wanna wish you luck for your camp coming in. How you doing, sir? Be mindful if you, like me, are too... Well, if your wires are all over your stove, just be careful you don't melt them to the bottom of the saucepan like I just have. Jesus, it's getting hot in here. So your decks are covered in food. You know you've undercooked those aubergines. So now it's time to simmer your mixture and cook your rice thoroughly.
Guys, I wish you were here to smell this. It smells amazing. It smells voluptuous, if that's a word to describe the taste of aubergine. Top up does she off camera? Guys, ah, I've just pulled my testicle doing that dance move. Oh, is that possible? So I'd really like to know what have you what have you guys been doing to keep busy during this quarantine period? Have you been sticking to the rules or have you been going back and forth, you know, maybe f- to a girl's house for example? Because if you have That's a very selfish thing to do. And society would shun you for that. Guys, let me know what you'd like to see more of. I can only go off feedback, so please help me. We've got a workout coming on Thursday, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And if I can get any sweatier than last week, I'll try. Very cheeky Kayla has just said she doesn't kiss and tell. Wow. I hope you've not done the the naughty thing. I hope you're not putting society at risk. 
Guys, drop me a comment where you're tuning in from. Shout out to Darren Burley locked in, always my guy. And Chris Wright locked in. Dupree locked in from the other side of the world. I just love that about the internet, how it can unite people that wouldn't have otherwise known each other existed. It's baffling. What a time we live in, eh? about another 10 minutes on this simmering and by that time we'll have some lovely fluffy starch free rice if you have been as I hope cooking alongside me I'd be really intrigued to see your recipes take a photo leave it in the comments take a photo send it to me take a photo don't send it to me and big ups to everyone staying locked in playing this through a speaker or your headphones. I hope you're feeling it as much as I am. Let's have this one, shall we? drink red wine. I've taken the lid off of my bubbling curry. Let the condensing water escape. It's going to thicken it. Let's go for another drop.
Shouts to Seb Emmons just joined in. Guys, now our curry has reduced a lot, it's thickened up. <clears throat> My rice is very nearly ready. So this is the stage where I would ordinarily season my curry to my liking with salt. Or use whatever you fancy. That's what I'm about to do. You will then watch me wash my rice, wash it. Why do chefs make a hat, wear, wear, wear a hat? Because it just makes you sweat more. Shouts to Jake Koloski. Yes, you definitely should do this. Guys, in these times of isolation, it's quite easy to feel obviously isolated, but also stressed, anxious. We can't live our usual daily lives. And I can speak on my own behalf when I say, that isn't very nice. Guys, the lockdown is for a greater cause, so please hang on in there. I'm bringing you two live streams every week. On Facebook, that is. And a further two every week on Instagram. All of this music is uploaded to high quality SoundCloud. At Suatism, if you want to check that out. Guys, you can fluff your rice up with a fork or the back of a wooden spoon. 
the utensil does not matter. But make sure you fluff it up good. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, can I get a... Can I get an oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Once your roasted aubergine and tomato curry is at your desired thickness, it can be poured lavishly on top of some fluffy white rice. As I've already seasoned it to taste, I won't do that for you. However, a garnish won't go amiss. Let's get that plated while it's hot. I'm just gonna add a couple of bumps of sugar to my lovely curry. Guys, give us a like for these beats, for these rhythms. Uh... Guys, look at these rich colors here. Take a look at them. Can you see them? Can they see them? Those rich orange hues, they're coming from the carrots, they're coming from the tomatoes, they're coming from the creamy coconut milk, but that turmeric is essential. Obviously, um, I made a mess there in a real kitchen. Well, this is a real kitchen. We're going to clean that.
And this needs a bit of a garnish. So what I like to do is take some pepper. Cover that with pepper nicely, from a height, obviously. And another one. And then I'd like to go to my fridge and get some nice fresh parsley or coriander or any green herb you can think of. But definitely not dill or tarragon, because I'm not a... So beautiful. And now I've covered it in a very bitter leaf that tastes foul. It's time to do a taste test. Really wow. I'm gonna come closer so you can see this. Hi, bet you've never seen me this close before. So what we have here is a lovely, hearty, rich, roasted aubergine <laughs> and tomato curry. Not only is this immune boosting in a vital time like this where there's an airborne virus going around that... Oh, it's infectious. Oh, it's infectious. Ah, I'm talking about the beats. Look at that. Should we have a taste? Come on. Come on, let's have a taste. Let's go. So I like to close my eyes when I taste food. That way I can get more absorbed in the music as well while I'm doing it. Maybe have an orgasm. Let's taste this, shall we? to you what's going on in my palate right now. Oh. Instantly there's that texture of the rice that I've deliberately undercooked. <laughs> it's that nuttiness. I really like that nuttiness. And then you've got this creamy, almost tomato soup-like flavour just going in and out, in and out of your palate. It comes in and then it goes back out and then it comes back in and then it goes back out. Oh goodness, it's nice. Goodness is interesting on my palate. Let me try an aubergine after this drop.
guys, wow. I wish you could have heard me freak out there because I really did. I just pulled my foot doing that. So then I'm continuing on this tomato soup in and out of my palate journey. <clears throat> then I bite that meaty aubergine and it's just, it's rich in flavor. It's, oh, it's just, it engulfs your palate. It really is quite delicious. Even if I do say so myself. Guys, I really urge you to try this. Look at these flavors that you can see. The carrot is beautifully tender. The onions, they're not too disintegrated. They're a lovely texture. And that parsley on top, so bitter. I would never put it there again. point in the night where I would recommend that you give your meal to whoever it was intended for, top up your glass of red, crank that speaker up in loudly, and we're going to have a proper good boogie. Come on guys, you know the deal. Before I go really ham with these dance moves, I just want to thank each and every one of you at home staying locked in. If you haven't already left me a comment, please do so. And feel free to share my recipes to whoever. Like I said at the start, guys, this is a completely vegan recipe. It's got so much flavor that you wouldn't even guess it's not got beef in it. Never cook with parsley, never cook with parsley. Shoutouts to the absolute wizard Fabe on this tune. This is the Visit Me remix. (laughs) 
guys, make sure you clear a space. Don't wear shoes like this because they are not appropriate for dancing. Because we're about to have it. When I say we, I mean I. However, I hope that you guys will join me. If you've been sitting down, this is the point where you stand up. Come on. your hands. Guys, drop me a comment. Let me know how your cook came along. Or let me know what you'd like to see me cook next week. Like I said, this is a series. If you're not already following the SUAP page, make sure you click the bell button down below and you'll get notified when I next go live, as well as all the other content I put online. So if you like what you see, press the bell button, baby.
That's correct, Nicholas. I believe there is such a thing as being high on life. You don't need to take recreational drugs or necessarily drink any alcohol. I know I'm being a bit of a hypocrite here. All you've got to do is make sure you stay with Suat and stay inside. Now, I could be old fashioned, but that's not too much to ask, is it? Get yourself up, come on. And a massive congratulations to all of those who have managed to stay inside during this lockdown. Give yourself a good thump on the back. And obviously, it goes without saying, but a massive shout out to all the NHS workers on the front line. Any medical staff, we give you a massive round of applause. Come on, girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. me to say that we have nearly come to a close. Guys, I love what I do. Thank you so much for staying on the end of that stream. It means a lot to me. Remember, if you like what you see, follow at Suatism on all social media platforms. You can get cheeky insights to my daily life. Let's have a f in boogie, shall we?
say cheers to your good health, guys. Do the responsible thing and follow your government. such a wonderful evening. Thank you so much. I'm ecstatic at the thought of being able to cook up some more beats again with you next week. But you guys, in the meantime, I've got to do the responsible thing. Guys, this is me signing out. Make sure you stay inside. Make sure you stay safe. Stay locked down and stay suat, guys. But most importantly, Wash your fucking hands.